Welcome to the overview of navigating the PayStation Control Console. We will learn the terminology, structure, setup, and management procedures for the PayStation Control Console. Before we begin, there are a few reminders when it comes to the Control Console interface. Unlike the Customer Management Portal, which is cloud resident and accessible from any internet connection, the Control Console interface is local to the equipment. Here's what that means. The control console is the local interface within Dencar equipment. You must be at the site on the Dencar network or VPN connected to the site in order to access the device's control console. Follow the VPN connection guide you were provided to connect your phone or computer to the VPN service. With those reminders, let's get started. Once you are on the Dencar network, or VPN connected to your site. Open a current browser. We recommend Chrome. Navigate to the URL of the control console you wish to access. Control console URLs are contained in your introductory information packet. When you navigate to the PayStation control console, you will see the following screens. For regular interaction, we will only work in the control section of the control console. From here, we have various interfaces and we'll outline them next. In the top right, you will see the time since last reboot in days, hours, minutes, seconds. The next section is the product section. The set products button needs to be pushed whenever you make a change to your wash descriptions. This tells the pay station to pull down any updated graphical assets. The next section is the kiosk state section. This is where you can restart the PayStation by selecting the red Restart Kiosk button. You can also set the PayStation in service or out of service by pressing the Toggle Out of Service button. Temperature and door state are shown as well. The next section is the Bill Recycler section. There are three areas within the Bill Recycler. The top area shows the bill count of current bills able to be dispensed. The bottom left area shows the quantity and denomination of bills in the vault. Be sure to select the clear vault button whenever you remove cash to reset the counters. The bottom right area shows the actions available. Note that actions are by row. For example, to withdraw or store bills, you will input the quantity, select the drop-down denomination, and then select the action. One action you need to do at initial installation is to fill the bill recycler with the initial load of bills. To do this, you will select the Enter Fill Mode button. You will then load bills into the bill recycler, just like you are paying for a wash. Once the bill recycler is fully loaded, select the Cancel Action button. After your wash is up and running, if the recycler drums get low on bills, you will be notified via text message. You can see your bill count remotely to determine if you need to add bills to your recycler. If you do, you will follow the same process. 1. Select Enter Fill Mode. 2. Input your bills. 3. Select Cancel Action. The VP6300 section is currently just a placeholder and is not used. The Cameras section of the Control Console gives you visibility to the most recent pictures captured as well as live pictures on demand. You can take a driver or license plate picture by selecting the respective gray buttons. The Relays section of the Control Console gives you the ability to reset, aka power cycle, individual components inside the PayStation. This is particularly advantageous for the bill recycler, as a physical bill jam will sometimes be cleared by a power reset to the device. The power on startup procedure activates the motors that controls the bill movement within the bill recycler. This can be done without restarting the entire pay station. If the credit card reader ever needs to be power cycled, the CC relay will cycle power to the credit card component. The IO interface, aka C-Level, section of the control console provides a visual interface between the pay station and the wash equipment. Red and green indicator lights show the current state of each input or output. The gray buttons activate the respective output signal. Let's do a key learning review of the PayStation Control Console. The Control Console can only be accessed when you are on the Dencar network at the site or when you are VPN connected to the site. 
follow the VPN connection guide to access your site remotely. Each section of the control console provides visibility into the respective device setting. This concludes the overview on navigating the PayStation control console. Please continue your training with the other videos in the DenCar series.